Welcome back, this is the Jack, and today we have Hellmark Station, Gunslinger, Weekly Outbreak. It's Poundemonium today. And uh, we're gonna go and... Boom, 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 boom! <laughs> I'm gonna go mess him up. So we get some quarter pounds in, uh, in the first wave, of course, which is always good fun. Quite a lot of quarter pounds in the first wave, actually. And uh, I was lying when I said that it's good fun. It's usually pretty terrifying. They do talk, eh? They kind of, like, say things. It's weird. But, uh, you know, gun uh, quarter pounds, they, they, they ain't scary even round one. I mean, a couple of quarter pounds. They just get decapped. They just get decapped. This is a little food court thing. Spanda. We are in a room that I don't really want to be in. Doesn't matter. They got a back entrance. Dude, he just like juked all of my shots. And yes, I'm gonna say that he juked all my shots instead of that I failed. Look, it's a, it's a trick that you learn as a, as a as a dungeon master. Okay, I didn't miss. I was great. Okay, the enemy is just, they're just juking you. You know, you didn't fail. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a trick. It's a, it's a narrative trick. Makes makes the enemies seem more powerful without uh, without really detracting from from what uh, we didn't get enough. Well, we get a Glock with barely any bullets, but you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a trick that you learn as a as a DM to um to uh, to kind of. Make 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 your your players not feel bad because what a lot of DMs will do when uh, when somebody attacks is uh, and and look if 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 my players roll really badly I'll also do this but is uh you know you uh, you swing your axe and uh, you miss and if you get like a whole bunch of bad rolls in a row then it can feel really bad because you just you just feel useless you know what I mean whereas if 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 it's like you know, you swing your axe as the uh, as your opponent raises his shield, deflecting it uh, away. You feel like you were able to to really make an impact. You're able to do something in the in the combat, and they had to respond. You know, it's not like you were just useless. And uh, that that difference in the narrative makes you feel uh, good. And you'll still feel bad if you're rolling really badly. But I mean, like that's just the way the dice go. You know. Sometimes that happens, and there's there's nothing you can do about that. But it's uh, it's just a it's just a simple little narrative trick to make uh, to make you feel good about yourself. You didn't fail; the other person was just better. Yeah, it makes it makes it feel like a hard fight. It's supposed to be a hard fight if if you're, if you're failing. You know what I mean? So it's uh it's good to throw that kind of stuff out there, or, or primarily even. Um. We'll just buy ammunition for the Glock, honestly. Like, we don't really need the Deagles. The Glock is perfectly fine. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's, that's, uh... It's, it's just kind of a thing that I do now as, as a DM. I've, uh, I've kind of tricked myself into doing it, and I do it, uh, do it in other aspects of my life as well. You know? It's not that I failed. I was just, uh approached by somebody a little bit stronger and I had to overcome that and uh, it's exactly the same thing you know ultimately what's happening hasn't changed but uh, how I feel about it has that's what uh, that's what life boils down to is just a bunch of whole feeling stuff and uh, you know if you just make uh, if you work to make yourself feel better at, uh, at every aspect that you can then then you're typically gonna feel pretty good about yourself Okay, we're gonna head over to the, uh... Want to get the heck away from that. We're gonna head over to the little thingy that we have to get. We have to get it two more times, so we'll be doing that in this, uh... This game. Make sure we grab it. You know, I honestly, I learned a lot of things about, uh, life from being a DM. You know? Like, um... Social skills, for instance. Improvising and and being able to to handle yourself in unknown situations—it's 
it's a skill that I have from from DMing, and I, I still have a ways to go on on getting better at it, at, at being a better DM in general. I mean, I'm not perfect, but you know, as a you can't do that. As as a DM, I think I'm okay. You know, and uh, what more can you really ask for from yourself? Excellence. I don't think you ask for excellence. Strive for it, but uh, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I'm not personally of the belief that uh, I want to expect it of myself. I'm, I'm a person of low expectations in general. I feel like for the most part, um, you know, as long as I'm. Uh, I don't want to protect the area. I want to grab my buff so I get my achievement, dude. Oh, my buff. Maybe it's on a timer, not on a round thing. I think we can grab it now, though. Maybe? I don't know. We've got a hey, buddy! Wow, he came up real quick, eh? There's two blooming many of these dudes. Oh my god. Don't come down this way. I always come down this way and it doesn't work. I hate this area. It's just panic inducing, honestly. It's panic inducing. Anybody need a uh, skull? Ooh, we can go for collectibles here. Let's find the collectibles. I'm, pu I'm keeping an eye out for collectibles now. Let's find all the collectibles while we're while we're doing this. Where do you think? If I were a collectible, where would I be hiding? Uh you you can live. Yeah. You'll be you'll be the one that I leave alive. You will not be. It's hard to find these collectibles sometimes, because they're they're hidden in weird areas, you know? See anything back here? Nope. They're hiding anything up there? Probably, right? You know what? We'll keep one of the, the slow clots alive here. Ooh, there's a collectible. Right? Did I just miss it? <laughs> yeah, I was missing it. Good job, me. How many more do we have? I didn't catch it. Didn't catch it. I said we'll keep one of the slow clots alive. You're not a slow clot. So, you know. Sorry, but... Not sorry? Okay. I do want to find all of these things, because I want that achievement. Dude, we talked about it before, but I uh, I like uh, I like achievement hunting. Okay, six more to find. There's probably like more than six. Uh, more in the map. And they're just uh, being fairly lenient. I mean, that's usually what happens, right? Yeah, I figured there'd be one on top of this. Usually is. There might be one hanging from this instead of a, a lamp. Possibly. See anybody, any skulls kind of sitting down at tables here? Nope. Let's see, where do we got? Uh... Oh, there's a skull. It's that, uh, it's that vodka drink that uh, what's his name came up with that is extremely distilled and pure. Or whatever kind of nonsense that uh, they're using for marketing it. You guys seen that vodka thing? That vodka commercial? It's like the silliest thing I've ever watched, honestly. It really, really is. It's just, um... I forget who made it, or who did it, but it's somebody who was, like, well-liked, mostly, before that. And then he made this thing, and it was, like, all spiritual, and, like, this vodka repairs your spiritual meridians and, like, random other crap like that. And uh, all of a sudden, people were like, "Okay, so he's a he's a bit of a, a lunatic." <laughs> it's basically how it went. It was uh, it was it was it was distilled and like used to, like real skulls and 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 whatever kind of other junk. I hear it's good vodka. <laughs> yeah, here it is good vodka. But uh, oh, there's another one here. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to see the skulls as easily anymore. Dude. I think there's another one on top of that? Nah. 
I need, uh, what, like five more skulls, is it? Four more skulls? Something, something around there? Look, I'm finding them. Okay. If my life depends on it, I shall find these gosh dang skulls. Have we been in here yet? No. Think we got a skull chilling out back here? I'd put a skull on this if I were... Get out of here, dude. Can't really uh, bash him too many times, but you know, that's why you want to ideally just not get grabbed. I'm checking behind the uh, the counter, but first we gotta get out of here, dude. But first we gotta make sure that we have a little bit of time to do so. Okay, we need what? I didn't. I didn't check. I didn't, I forgot to look. But like three more, four more, something around there. Where do you think they'd hide skulls? Where would you hide skulls? If you were a skull, where would you choose to hide? You know, I would choose to hide over here, personally. On uh, some of this stuff. He's really kind of picking up the pace, though, isn't he? Or maybe I'm slowing down the pace. I don't know. But I want, uh, I want this skull, dude. I've committed to finding them, and uh, I kind of have to, because, like, I've already kind of made the commitment, you know? I've already started to, to start searching for them, so if I, uh, if I stop, I'm going to have to, like, redo all the work I've done. Although, I know where they are now, so, like, it's not that hard, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, dude, that's a skull. That's a skull, dude. Don't tell me that's not a skull. You got a skull in here? That's a skull. No? Guess not. Guess not. We have a skull in here, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Could be. Not seeing. Ah, I am seeing one. No. One left, one left. Okay, really, just the one, just the one. We just gotta find one more. We'll find that on the uh, the next wave, perhaps, unless we find it traveling to the uh, to the trader. I don't know that we've been through here yet. While well, we were looking for skulls, anyway. So this could be an opportunity for us to uh, locate the final skull that we need. Perhaps, maybe. It's not that soon, though. It's, like, right here, too, so. But, I mean, y'all, I'll, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Okay, so we're actually going to buy the deagles. Fill them up. Just so we have something for taking out the quarter pounds and stuff that are coming. And we'll leave the... We'll, we'll leave it, dude. You know? Don't touch it. Let it... Let it... Let it... Let it ride it out. I need... I need to find this final skull. Where is it? I'm good at keeping an eye out for these things, but... It's uh, it's still like there's just a lot, and it is dark, and it is scary. I don't know if we've been up here. I know we've been up at the top, but I don't know. Oh God. Okay, we can't really uh, we can't really look for for skulls anymore. We are past the point where we can be looking for skulls. Does that mean I'm not going to be looking for skulls still? No. I can't resist. I need to find the skulls, dude. But we are past the point where it is a responsible decision. Where's this final skull, man? Funk. Really? It's right there, though. We, we found it. We've located it. That's really what matters. I'll be able to. I'll be able to grab it. At a uh, later time of my choosing. This cat's back in the game. For now, I just want to really focus on uh, not dying, you know. But I know where it is. Be able to grab that, get that achievement for uh, popping all the skulls, and then um, that's really, you know, how how life kind of continues onwards. And uh, I guess I could put on my light. As I'm looking around. I never use my flashlight in this game. I don't know. I just have my brightness set such high. Oh, hey. Bruv. Some penetrable glass. 
There it is. Woo. Got my old skull achievement. We should go through and get all of the achievements, honestly. Maybe, maybe we'll, you know what? We'll make that the, the focus going forward. We're going to work on achievements now. Some of them are going to be kind of dumb to do. Some of them are not. Uh, some of them are going to be like looking for collectibles and stuff. Um, and uh, some of them are going to be, you know, doing like beat this map on hell on earth. And then some of them are going to be like beat this map on normal as survivalist. Because I never do normal. It's going to be a lot of normal. But uh, I would love to go for for knocking out a whole bunch of achievements, so we might make uh, we might make that the focus going forward. Perhaps, I think so. Right? That sounds like a good idea. So we've knocked out uh, one of them today. That's pretty good. Um, what else can we do? I mean, we can do. I mean, I still want to get the the rest of the um, the 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 like event things done. Which, what do we have left, anyway? We have to do Endless, I believe. Seasonal. Uh, so you have to do Endless. We're doing the weekly here. The Zeds will be done. Like, that's any map or mode. And then decapitate 600 Zeds on Hellmark Station. That's like another Hellmark Station uh, run as Gunslinger, and that'll pretty much do the rest of that. Because I do a lot of decaps on uh, Gunslinger. So that's not that bad. But, uh, and then the rest of it's not that bad, and then, uh, just, uh, just an endless run. Up to, uh... Up to round, what, 15 on hard? It's basically you have to go up to hell on earth. Which is not that bad. It's not that bad at all. You are your problem. And so are you, buddy. Get to capped. <laughs> See, I'll make it. I'll make it a priority to focus on achievements going forward. I think, because uh, yeah, I'd love to 100% complete Killing Floor 2, all the achievements. I mean, it's like it's a game that I spend an enormous amount of time playing, or at least that I've invest a lot of time into, and a lot of my life into. Having it, having a hundred percent completion on it would be pretty cool, I think. Yeah, Poundemonium is like in KF one. It was like super, super hard because it was like actually just exclusively flesh pounds, basically. Um, but in KF two, you you add in the quarter pounds, and it's just like okay, the flesh pounds are already like easy enough when you get them like one or two or three at a time, and then just replace them with like quarter pounds, which are like even easier. And I'm just Really? Why? <laughs> Why? Why do this? Got some ammo here. It's too easy. I say as a uh, as a as a suicidal man. <laughs> I uh, look. I look. I proved I can do hell on earth. Okay, I've proven it. But honestly, I think I enjoy suicidal more. I think I just do. So that's why we haven't moved up to hell on earth again. I think I just enjoy it more. I can do it, it's just, uh, you know, being able to, to know that I'm going to like get into a run and be like, yep, we're going to win. That feels really good. Feels really, really good. It's like it's confidence, right? Being confident about what you're doing is, is always a good thing. It happened to me on stream yesterday too, actually. I keep trying to jump over this, but you can't. It happened to me on stream yesterday as well, as we we're doing some uh, some racks runs on uh, on RuneScape, and uh, I kind of remarked on it there. Uh, but like, just just knowing what you're doing and being confident makes something so much more fun to do. And suicidal kind of kind of matches that for me. Hell on Earth, it it, it steps a little bit past um, like very very easy and steps into moderately hard, <laughs> you know, and. Uh, I just, for me, I don't know, I, li I, like the, I like the challenge, but very, very easy is also just, it's nice. You don't know, really play Killing Floor 2 for the challenge anymore. I play it uh, just for the, um, 
uh, just just for the uh, the video, really, for the commentary. Um, so 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 going for challenge isn't really like a huge thing for me. But we will work towards uh, the achievements, which means we're gonna have to do every map as every perk on every difficulty. So you know that'll be fun. But all right, time to fight the King Flesh Pound, and then that'll be the end of the episode. Twenty minutes for one game. We did spend some time looking for the skulls. I'm glad we did, though. I don't know if every episode is going to be, like, knocking out a new achievement, but I think we're going to start doing some achievements as we kind of work our way through. This dude's straight out of Family Guy. I think we're going to start, yeah, I think we're going to start doing some achievements as we work our way through and, and, and focus on doing different maps and different difficulties as different perks and stuff, just to, to, to slowly chip away at that 100% uh, completion. You know dang well I'm grabbing this. Because I want that damage bonus to, to really mess them up as much as I possibly can. I'll say it. I think it's funny. Oh, we get like this huge speed boost too, so we like really can't catch us anyway. Ooh, 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 look at that huge damage. Hit me, hit me. Oh, I jumped at the wrong time. I didn't want to have to walk across. I don't like being above you. I mean, look, even without the damage bonus, like, it's just a King Flesh Pound, dude. King Flesh Pound is level 25 Gunslinger. I mean, look, if you die to him, I'm not saying you're terrible. But you can literally just run, and he can't hit you. So, you know, just run away, take your moment to attack, and... Really not a hard fight. <laughs> but again, it's it's that confidence that I have about it, right? That that makes it so much so much easier for me that somebody who doesn't have so much experience with it wouldn't have that confidence and wouldn't be quite as easy. Anyway, that was a fun game. An easy one. Um Pandemonium's kind of always pretty easy in KF2, but I want harder challenges. The weekly challenges anyway. I know you were just talking about how I want uh, I don't like that the I don't need the challenges, but like the weekly challenges. I wish they were a little bit more difficult. Some of them are a little bit like hard, but not in a fun way. Um, anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.